Hello! Today we will talk about crystalline silica. If you use absorbents, you may have heard of silica, or even crystalline silica. But do you really know what it is? Where is it found and what dangers does it present? Let us discover it together. Silica, or silicon dioxide, is a mineral that forms naturally in the Earth's crust and is highly absorbent due to its porosity. It exists in crystalline, amorphous and combined forms, also known as silicates. Crystalline silica comes in three main forms – quartz, crystabolite and tritomite. Its structure in three dimensions forms crystalline domains. At the microscopic scale, we can observe the presence of crystals. Crystalline silicon dioxide is mainly obtained from mining, including sand mining and quartz purification. It is found in sandstone, granite or sand in varying concentrations. Amorphous silica has the same chemical formula as crystalline silica. However, the atoms are arranged in a more chaotic way. They do not form a well-structured compound. This difference in chemical structure has a strong impact on the toxicity of silica. Unlike crystalline silica, amorphous silica is non-hazardous. Finally, silicates are derivatives of silica bound to other atoms. Sodium silicates, calcium silicates, magnesium silicates, potassium silicates, etc. They do not represent the same chemical entity but can also pose risks. Chemically, ingested or inhaled silica is essentially non-toxic. However, crystalline silica dust is dangerous because of its small size, hardness and inalterability. To be used as an absorbent, aggregate or binder in construction materials, silica must first be milled or crushed. It is during this stage that particulates are formed. These can easily be inhaled and cause certain diseases. The most important are silicosis and bronchopulmonary cancer. Chronic silicosis is a fibrous, progressive and potentially fatal lung disease. Its symptoms are respiratory failure, shortness of breath, fatigue and chest pain. The only treatment at present is lung transplantation. Silicosis can be recognized as an occupational disease. The progression of the pathology is unstoppable, even in the absence of additional exposure. A link between inhalation of crystalline silica and bronchopulmonary cancer has been demonstrated in numerous case studies. The International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified crystalline silica as a carcinogen since 1997. The majority of products used to clean up spills or leaks of hazardous industrial products are mineral absorbents such as diatomaceous earth or sepulite. They contain crystalline silica that can be inhaled when the absorbent is applied or collected. Diatoms are microscopic aquatic algae whose external skeleton is composed of porous silica that they absorb from their environment. Diatomaceous earth, also known as diatomite and kieselgua, is a mineral composed of the fossil remains of diatoms. There are different grades of diatomaceous earth that contain more or less crystalline silica depending on the processing they have received. The natural grade products are dried at relatively low temperatures. They are mainly composed of amorphous silica, but can contain up to 3% of crystalline silica. The calcinated grade products are dried at higher temperatures, usually around 1000 degrees Celsius. Under the effect of this heat, some of the amorphous silica can be transformed into crystalline silica, mainly in the form of crystabolite. As a result, calcinated diatomite can contain up to 70% crystalline silica. In spite of their natural origin, one must be wary of diatomaceous earth. It can be an important source of crystalline silica.
In order to limit the risks of exposure of workers to carcinogenic silicate dust, the use of absorbents without crystalline silica is recommended. This is why all the absorbents developed by the Prever laboratory are free of crystalline silica. To manage spills of common liquids such as oils, hydrocarbons, solvents, non-hazardous aqueous liquids, I recommend the universal dryer Polycaptor. To handle spills of corrosive chemicals such as acids or strong bases, I recommend the neutralizing absorbent Triverex. It is not only absorbent but also neutralizes and eliminates the chemical hazard. Do not hesitate to consult our website, environment.prever.com, for more information. You can also contact Prever by email or by phone. Their teams are entirely at your disposal. Thank you and have a nice day.